Hi everyone, it's Margaret here. I just wanted to quickly share a few little projects I've been working on. Actually, I just finished them. Um, there's some vintage handbags that I've uh, altered and a little heart pillow. So let's start with the uh, vintage bags. Uh, this is the first one. Now these vintage bags, um, uh, you can usually pick them up at the thrift store um, or I got these ones at a vintage market that I uh, go to. And uh, what I've done with these is actually, uh, I've recovered uh, the base um, with this one here with doilies. And then um, I've, I've had to stitch it on to recover it. If I don't like the base of it and I want to uh, create my own uh, or choose the own, my own color, then uh, I'll, uh, I'll recover these, uh, these bags. It takes a little bit of time because you have to hand stitch and, and cover the base, but then you get more of a selection what you want to do with them. And this one again, um, covered in uh, this beautiful doily. And then I've just layered some uh, fringe and some pretty uh, uh, trims with some pearls. And uh, I've included this beautiful uh, picture of this lovely lady and picked up a lot of the, the colors from the picture as well. And added some uh, pretty little snippets and some seam binding, some pearls and some roses, a little bit of gold for glitter. And um, that's that one very easy to do and especially if you're a beginner and you want to start with a small platform um, these are so fun to do they really are the next one again um, it's another vintage bag um, this one here again it had a uh, a beige silk base and i've recovered it in this uh, beautiful um, uh, purpley or plum uh, lace as you can see and I've done the front and the back, so by hand stitching I covered the whole base. And then I've uh, started to layer some uh, pretty um, lavender colored uh, appliques, which I uh, hand dyed. And um, again, adding this picture of this lovely lady in the center. And then just layering again the, uh, the little different uh, appliques. And I had these little flowers that I've added some rhinestone and pearls. And these little... Um, uh, beaded uh, appliques which add again a lot of sparkle. I've added uh, glued on with E6000 this beautiful uh, Aurora Borealis um, um, uh, rhinestone um, piece here and so this one has uh, a lot of glitter and a lot of fringe at the bottom. There's uh, this uh, teardrop uh, uh, fringe as well as this other type and I've just added some pearls on the bottom and uh, that's that one. And the last item, I, I had this little heart pillow and I wanted to do something with it. So what I did is I just tried uh, 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 making it a little bit more tattered looking. And um, I just dabbed on uh, some um, uh, lavender dye uh, just by sponging it on to give it a little bit more weathered look. Uh, even on the back, you can see it's not a pristine uh, base. I wanted to wanted it to look a little bit uh, weathered. And then I added this pretty applique on the at the back with some uh, beautiful flowers to trim. And then the front again, this uh, pretty lady in the coordinating uh, colors of the uh, pillow and added uh, a, a triple, uh, triple base of this uh, little, um, it's very common trim actually, but if you, if you try um, adding layers, uh, one or two or three on top of each other, it really gives it a lot of texture. I really like that. And then I had this uh, old doily that, again, I, uh, I kind of sponge painted, if you will, and um, added some, uh, sewed on some uh, pink pearls here. And then you can see that um, I've clustered some uh, beautiful wedding dress appliques and some blues and pinks and lavenders, some uh, little fringe trim here, uh, a lot of bling. Again, these Aurora Borealis uh, pieces that I have in my stash. And um, that's that little heart pillow there, which uh, I think turned out really pretty. Uh, simply because it's uh, it sparkles and I love that. So I hope you like these ladies. I um, uh, really enjoyed doing them. So uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon with another project. Bye for now.